Yes, that's how they work when you press the button. When everyone is vulnerable, it just changes the way that we access those vulnerabilities. What did you do? I spooked the text from her husband. Hello world shotgun here. Hope you guys enjoyed the bit of a snippet that I left that was from the TV series Mr. Robot where they were using a social engineering toolkit to spoof the messes. And in this video, as you know, we are going to install the same tool in our Mac computer. Now um this tool also has a bit of a love and hate relationship in the industry because security professionals often seem to think that this is another tool for skids or script kiddies. Now what are script kiddies? Now script kiddies are someone who don't really know how to write a code, who depends on someone else's written code and who can't write the script on their own. Now I don't see anything wrong with that because you know you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Everyone was a skid at one point so and on top of that social engineering toolkit um, sort of helps you you know ease your work so if there's something that helps you do your job easier and faster then go for it. I don't see any problem with that. As long as it gets your job done and it saves you your time, I'm all up for it. With that being said, let's just get started. Now I'll just open my Safari, go to Social Engineering Toolkit, and it is going to take me to a GitHub page, the second link that says github.com uh, slash social engineering toolkit. Now you can either go to code and click on this one that says download a JIP or download JIP, or you can just add it to your um, desired folder and just, you know, git clone it. Now, I usually keep all my pen testing or security research tools inside the OPT folder. Uh, so as you can see, I've got derb in packet and discover there should be wfuds as well. I can't see wfuds in here. Uh, anyway. Oh wait, it's right there. Um, I just didn't see it because it was right next to the Metasploit framework. But yeah, anyway. Um, so you go to this one, uh, your desired folder, and we do git clone. And we'll just copy this thing. So it's copied. Um, go to this one, and we'll clone it. Oh, okay, because since it's a system folder, I can't uh, run it without the super user permission. So I'm going to have to add a sudo and it is going to ask me for a password and I messed that one up. Now it is going to take some time to download all the files. It's not a big file, but yeah, it depends on your internet connection. Radio. okay, so we've done it. It is already installed. Now it does say Mac OS X experimental over here, so it might work, it might not work, but we'll give it a go. We'll see if it will work. And if it doesn't, we'll hopefully be able to make it work somehow. Okay. Right, so we've already received all the file. It's 100% complete. Now if I go to this drive, you can see it's in there, Social Engineering Toolkit. So I'm going to change the folder, Social Engineering Toolkit. Since it's a Git clone, it is going to have this master thing. So, um, let's see what are the requirements then. Um, yeah, so we've got Docker file, we've got setup, uh, let's see what are the requirements. So we'll do cat requirements, um, and then we'll we'll see the README file. Um, we'll have a look into README files. But yeah, we need PyCrypto, we need pexpect, we need pe file, um, pymssql as well, which has been discontinued. Uh, but yeah. And let's see, README, do we need to have a requirement first? Install the dependencies first and then install it, or is it going to do it, do it for us? Uh, sorry, it's a, what, it was a directory? Oh, okay. Um, README, right, user manual, license, credit, okay, there's nothing in there that could have been useful. To, there's a user manual that might tell us how to install, but you know what, ignore that. When was the last time you got a mobile phone and had a look at a catalog to see what's in there? 
Um, but yeah, let's see. So we'll do sudo uh, python and setup.py. And yeah, that was done. <laughs> it was pretty quick. Running pip as a root user can result in broken permission. Yeah, whatever, yada yada. Uh, installing set toolkit, do that one. Make directory user share set toolkit. Operation not permitted. Oh, I did permit you guys with that one. Um, so all the requirements were permitted. Okay, yeah, satisfied, satisfied. Um, installing set toolkit to user share set toolkit. OPT social set toolkit operation not permitted. Okay. Okay. Let's let's try let's try running a set toolkit. Uh, uh, hold on. What's going on? Uh, we've got Docker file. We've got requirements. We can't. What if I do? What if I go to source? Is there? Uh, no. Okay. Let's let's go back. Um, let's go back to. Oh yeah, there is there is set toolkit. What am I doing? Okay. Um, what if I do set toolkit? Oh, you have to run through root permission. Okay. Sudo set toolkit. Uh, yeah, there's another error. Okay. Yes, I do agree to term and condition. Um, what's the error? Metasploit path not found. This payloads will be disabled. Uh, please configure Metasploit path in etc set toolkit set dot config file. Okay. All right. Let's get out of the set. Exit. Um, sudo nano um, etc slash set toolkit. Oh, hold on. That was a folder. What am I doing? Uh, slash. Yeah. Set dot config. Um, so we'll try to find where the Metasploit path is and then oh there you go there it is um, so that is not my metasploit so no wonder it didn't found it my metasploit location is opt slash oh, actually um, I'll start a new um, we'll go to change drive to opt um, change drive to metasploit framework metasploit framework okay, we'll just copy and paste this that's that's what I was trying to do but I don't know why I did all of that Yeah, and I think there's a bin folder inside it. Uh, slash bin, yeah, yeah, there is bin as well. So bin, so that's my location of Metasploit. Um, so that's what I'm going to change to. But it depends on where about to Metasploit is installed, and you guys can do the same thing. Okay, Control O to write it out. Control X to get out of that. Um, let's see, sudo uh, set toolkit. All right, um, I think the Metasploit uh, error is gone. Yeah, it is gone, okay. Let's try something that requires a Metasploit thingy. Uh, maybe Software Engineering Toolkit, Spear Phishing. And I think my Metasploit is, yeah, no, it is, it is working. Uh, set a custom written DLL, okay, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, yeah, there's, there's Metaprogram Memory Cell. Yeah, yeah, it is working. So it's usually at this section that would give me an error because um, it wouldn't find Metasploit, but yeah, it's it's working. <coughs> so I think everything's working here. We'll just exit out of the Metasploit and run the sudo toolkit again, and let's see, everything's working fine. Good, I can use whatever I want. Yeah, two, yeah, awesome. Um, and that is how you install a social engineering toolkit on Mac computer. Uh, in my other video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the social engineering toolkit. Um, until then, thanks to heaps guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, again, if you run into any problems, just comment down below. I'll try to help you guys. I'll hopefully see you guys in another video. Happy pen testing.